I worked on this one a little. I've filled in the background, like back here, not background, but um, the shadow areas with dark sap green. And I touched up the sky. And so now I'm gonna put some sunny highlights on the building. So again, I'm imagining the light come this way, which is usually I always make the sun going that way for whatever reason. Um, see, if I were in Shimayo, what direction? That would be the east, I believe. So morning time. This must be morning time. If I'm making up a painting, I tend to have it, the light going that way. Just a habit. I'm just mixing a little bit of orange and Indian yellow. That's fun. There, and see that kind of makes it pop. Do the same for this. That white was too jarring. I like this yellow better. I'm just putting that where I imagine the light hits, you know. I mean, if you've ever seen Adobe homes, they're streaky, kind of streaky, because they have a lot of texture. So now I'm just gonna look at it and I think I'll touch up the roofs. Roofs? Is it roofs? <laughs> I don't think I've ever used that word. Is it roofs or roofs? Unfortunately, a lot of this is dried, but I'll just steal some of this blue that I used for this guy. I'm gonna make like tin roofs, roofs, <laughs> tin roofs. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I think that's funny. Um, I'm mixing a little yellow in there. So to me, that color looks like metal. And then like, here's all my brushes. I never throw away brushes like ever. So I'm looking for a flat brush needs to be kind of large. Oh, let's use this one. Just 
Yeah, I like that with the yellow. All right. So again, this side's gonna be darker, but we want it to peak there so that suggests the light, right? There we go. And maybe on this one too. Although I kind of feel like that one should be red. Let's make that red. And then we'll say a little bit of light is peaking on this roof. And then that might be in shadow right there, right? I think that's the fun of painting for me is watching the color go on, but also having to think like a puzzle, like where would the light hit? Where would it be? And then we'll create some shadow here with the cat. But I'm thinking most of that will be lit up, but not quite directly, you know, so I'll add some darker in there. Then I'm gonna mix a little more blue. Because I wanna touch up here, I added a little blue, so because it's farther away, we're gonna try that, see how that looks. Because we want it bright, but we don't want it to hit you in the face because she's farther away. Yeah, I like that. I like that, that looks cool. But now I think the clouds need to be brightened up quite a bit. So let's take that. It's not pure white, but it's got a little blue in it, but it's pretty white, so, I mean, very white. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. I'm just grabbing some more paint. When I back away, I'm looking at the painting, trying to be objective, but also grabbing some more paint. So um, I'm not great at clouds, but I've gotten a lot better. Um, but it helps to think of clouds as objects also with light coming on them like this, but they're in the sky, so they're gonna be quite bright. I'm gonna try adding a little bit of yellow in there. I like to have a little bit of color in my clouds. Oh, I think that's pretty. Yeah, that makes them kind of pop, doesn't it? Like sometimes I like, or I don't like something when I'm close up. Like I didn't really like the way it came, but when I step away, I'm like, oh, I like that. That's good. That's, oh, that's cute, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna work on the, um, tree I think and I have like watercolor these are all watercolor brushes but I use them with my oil paints a lot because I like how it bends these are stiff bristles 
made for oil painting. But I use whatever strikes me, I guess. Whatever I feel like using. I'm going to try this bright yellow. It's morning time. I have neighbors' dogs that are very loud. Super loud. But I just, instead of getting cranky, I just thank God that they're good guard dogs, you know? Nobody's coming to this house without those dogs <laughs> ringing an alarm, basically. So that's good. But yeah, sometimes they can be a little irritating. So that now looks like the sun in the morning, like is really hitting it, you know, the way that the sun will do in the morning. And it's morning. Oh, I need to clean those windows, don't I? Yeah, you can see that bright light, right? I found out the other day that the people who own the gallery where my paintings are, they're really accomplished artists themselves. And in fact, um, Manny Martinez is well known in California and he's a tremendous charcoal artist, very realistic. I really struggle with charcoals. I'm taking a, a class from Leo Neufeld, who's a really accomplished artist here in Albuquerque. And he shows in California as well. He's really good. Um, and we do figure drawing and still life drawing with charcoals. And I find it extremely challenging, very difficult. But, you know, I hope that my hope is that just that practice will make my paintings better. And I've, I've seen that. I've experienced that. So I keep doing it, even though it frustrates me. It's very frustrating. I'm using a pretty strong yellow, which will make will bring these um, trees that are in the background a little closer. So I want to be careful of that. You know, I'll, that's why I use the white yellow because it pushes it back. But um, I think that looks okay. I think that's. I think that looks okay. Maybe they kind of need it to pop up a little bit. Because, you know, the light is coming through here. So I'm thinking, oh, yeah, there would be some light peeking through on these leaves here as well. So now I'm gonna use some of this gray and mix it with some of that blue-white. Using my brush, very unprofessional. Yeah, I kinda like that.
I'm just muddying up some color, making some gray. Oh, where was I going to put that again? <laughs> what was I doing with this again? Oh, yeah, I think I was planning to come over here. So that's going to be the like stovepipe chimney. I'm not sure what those are called, but I see those a lot in New Mexico. The um, like the metal chimneys. If anybody knows what that is, you can correct me. That was a little too dark, huh? So yeah, I, I believe this is like really a watercolor brush. I just, well, I just like the smoothness of it. Sometimes they're just easier to use. Perhaps I shouldn't do that. I don't know. I break the rules sometimes. So I tell you that because um, I was so intimidated by the materials and stuff, you know, because I kind of taught myself to paint. And at first I was very intimidated by the materials list that teachers would send me. And uh, just, you know, all the different kinds of brushes, this brush for acrylics, this brush for oils, you know, what's the difference and this is stuff like that. It was very intimidating to me. So. I just tell you that so um, you will not be so intimidated by all that because really you just the only way to learn painting is just to do it and try things. And learn from our failures. Sometimes you'll make a mistake and it'll be a happy mistake because you'll be like, oh, I kind of like the way that looks, you know. There, it's starting to have structure, you know. It's starting to take shape. I just want to try something. It might be too soon, but I just want to try like sort of making streaks. Yeah, you can barely see it. I like it though. I'm going to keep it for now. Now I'm mixing some orange into some gray orange and Indian yellow into that gray 
because that sort of suggests wood to me. And I sort of remember what this looks like. It's like got a door kind of here. That's pretty bright, so I'm just going to go in with the bright areas here. Imagine the light on the ladder there, maybe on the poles. I've just um, painted this church so often, I think I just kind of remember, hopefully. I'm not even looking at the reference, I'm just like, oh yeah, I think there's here, just kind of remember. So now I really need to muddy this up a little darker. So now it's like a warm gray. Those are pretty dark, I'm gonna leave that alone. I know there's dark sort of frames coming around here, I think. So this is a flat roof, so usually this is tar and gravel. So pretty dark, although the sun would be hitting it, so it'll be maybe shadow here, and then maybe it lightens up right there. Oops, oops. So all this will be in shadow.
Yeah, it's coming alive, huh? I think um, soon I'll take a break and then start adding some more details. Oh, it's getting dusty and got a hair. Um, I'll start adding some details like uh, it's springtime, so I'm imagining some irises maybe. It's probably a little too early for irises. Um, tulips, yeah, tulips, daffodils, those tend to, those uh, bloom earlier, right? So, just putting in a hint of branches. So yeah, take a little break and um, think about adding some springtime flowers in here. <laughs> 